Welcome to the University of North Dakota's 2021 Spring Commencement Ceremony for graduate and undergraduate students. Eight times a year, the university conducts commencement ceremonies to celebrate the success of our students. Thank you for participating in today's ceremony. This virtual ceremony is being conducted online. It contains all the elements of a regular in-person ceremony. In addition, to honor each individual student, each graduate has a personalized graphic tile that's searchable below. We encourage you to find you or your student's tile at the end of this video and share it on social media with the hashtag UNDProud. Thank you for your resilience and congratulations class of 2021. Hi, I'm Andrew Armacost, president of the University of North Dakota. Welcome to our spring commencement ceremony. This ceremony honors graduates who are receiving their doctoral, master's, and undergraduate degrees. I am pleased to be here today to celebrate your accomplishments. While our campus has made progress since the pandemic began, our priority has always been to emphasize safety. To ensure the safety of our students, faculty, and staff, it seemed appropriate to use the internet to stream this ceremony. It may not be the way you expected to graduate. However, it still remains an important day. It's a day we feel pride for you and for your family. You have worked hard to earn a degree. You were supported by faculty, staff, and fellow students. Your family members encouraged you and gave you the tools you needed to make it this far. Today is your day to celebrate with the people who helped you achieve this milestone. Find an opportunity today to thank those special people for being part of your journey. In addition to our streaming ceremony, we offered you the chance to walk across the commencement stage wearing your cap and gown. This event was recorded on video and could be seen on this site. Look for the link called Grad Walk and Photo Op. The Grad Walk was also captured by professional photographers. Their stunning images will give you a keepsake of this special day. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the chair of the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education, Nick Hacker. Mr. Hacker is the CEO of Guarantee and Title Company. He is a 2005 graduate of UND and served in the North Dakota Senate. Here is Mr. Hacker. Thank you, President Armacost. Faculty, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, this graduating class of fighting hawks. On behalf of the State Board of Higher Education, I'd like to congratulate you on your achievements. Although you've undoubtedly faced one of the most challenging times of your lives, made more challenging by a global pandemic, here you are at this major milestone. As chairman of the State Board, it's with great pride that we continue to hold these commencement ceremonies where we celebrate all your hard work that's come to fruition. Throughout changing times, we on the board continue to have pride in the accomplishments made by all of UND's employees, because we know their dedication brings results in student success. No matter what path you take now, we are confident that you'll do well because you've proven you can meet the high standards that have been demanded of you here at the University of North Dakota. Whatever your next step, you're moving on from a big phase of your life to new challenges and opportunities. Thank you for placing your trust in our system and UND. We applaud your accomplishments and are confident that the education you've received will give you a competitive edge in your future. Your readiness to take responsibility for yourselves has led to your success here today. Congratulations to this year's University of North Dakota graduates. To the University of North Dakota class of 2021, to all your family and friends, and to all those who have supported you throughout the journey to your degree, I welcome and thank you for being here to celebrate your success and your accomplishments. Looking back on all that's happened over the last four years or so, I think we can agree it's been a wild and chaotic ride at times. But the important thing is that we're here today to recognize an achievement that can lead you to a better future, as long as you make use of your education and continue to build on it. Always remember that your desire for knowledge, your hopes, and your dreams 
are what brought you to UND. Keeping this spirit alive will serve you well as you begin a new chapter in your life. At UND, we talk about creating leaders who excel at work worth doing. These aren't just marketing slogans. Finding solutions to problems, identifying what needs to be done, and getting people to pull in the same direction toward a workable solution is a critical part of every positive human endeavor. In fact, we have just witnessed what will likely be recorded as one of the most significant accomplishments in history. In early 2020, we were trying to determine how concerned we should be about the coronavirus. It didn't take long to decide that it was a very serious global threat to human health. But what should we do about it? That was the question to which there was no clear answer. Conventional wisdom said that based on experience, it would take too long to develop a COVID-19 vaccine. However, this did not deter researchers who rose to the challenge and developed vaccines in less than a year. These vaccines are now showing us a way out of the pandemic and toward a return to normalcy. The term historic is used a lot these days, but this was truly an historic event. None of it could have happened without leaders who believed in themselves, who believed in their abilities and believed in the skills of their colleagues to develop, test and distribute effective vaccines. However, you don't need to be the head of a national research lab, be the CEO of a major corporation or even a general in the military to be an effective leader who makes a difference. We all know there are problems, big and small, in everyday life in search of solutions, whether that's becoming more efficient in doing our daily tasks or figuring out how to fly a drone on Mars. Each of these challenges presents opportunities to lead. Having spent more than 30 years in the military, I believe there's a misconception that displaying a take charge attitude is what effective leadership is all about. It's far more than that. Allow me to share with you some of what I've learned. First, it helps to be optimistic because this translates into organizational optimism, which improves the chances for teamwork. Second, knowing your teammates, believing in their talents, and showing them your trust is crucial to getting good results. Let them see that you, too, wrestle with the same problems they face. Know that how you communicate is important to the team's performance and success. Finally, you must leave room in your work for creativity, which will arise from the broad experiences you've had at UND and your continued learning throughout your life. And as I just mentioned, a commitment to lifelong learning will always serve you well. Have the humility to understand that nobody knows everything. Above all, Never forget to show gratitude to those who help and support you. This is expressed in UND's school song, the alma mater, which encourages us to raise our grateful song while passing the torch from hand to hand. Today, as we celebrate the passing of the torch once again, I encourage each of you to use the education you've received at UND to teach and enlighten others. You have been given the tools to change the world and help improve it through your chosen field. Remember the university's motto, lux et lex, light and law. Be the leaders who light the path ahead. Be fair while seeking to understand and appreciate the perspectives of others as you work to help build a just society. And please take some time to celebrate your achievements and accomplishments at the University of North Dakota with those closest to you. You've earned it. Now it's my pleasure to introduce a special group of people. I'm proud of the deans who represent our colleges and schools. They have worked hard to help the university transition to online instruction during this pandemic. Here are the deans or their representatives to welcome and congratulate you. Today, we're here to celebrate your success and pay tribute to your ability to change. Under normal circumstances, getting a degree is not easy. Nationwide, nearly half of college students drop out, and that's during normal times. We all had to change during these last few months. You had to be resilient more than any other time in your college career. But you did it, and now we acknowledge your fortitude and courage. Use the power and privilege that comes from your degree. Create the kind of change that will make the world a better place. 
Get involved with those issues that are close to your heart. You have the resources to make meaningful change. Your future is up to you. Be a leader in action. During this time, more than ever, society needs new ideas. Your creativity, your diverse perspectives, your power of persuasion, and your ability to communicate effectively can be transformational. The late president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela said, we can change the world and make it a better place. It's in your hands to make a difference. During this challenging time, you've shown patience, persistence, and perseverance. These elements will serve you well. Patience can help you become a leader, a director, or even a CEO. You may not step into these positions right out of college, but with patience, you can get there. Persistence will keep you focused on your ambitions. It guides you as the world evolves and sometimes even forces you to change your goals. Perseverance is the grit and determination to keep going. It gives you the ability to walk right up to the edge and have faith that you will not fall off. Be patient, be persistent, and persevere. As you turn the page on this chapter of your life, keep learning. That spark of knowledge that started here will continue to grow, but you have to be open to it. Keep learning, read, engage, debate, care, build trust, and stay connected to your alma mater. From all of us at the University of North Dakota, congratulations. I want to thank the deans and their representatives for being part of our program today. I know they will be proud to welcome you into our alumni family. The next portion of our ceremony involves the conferring of degrees. Candidates for graduate and undergraduate degrees will be presented by Provost Debbie Storrs. President Armacost, these candidates have completed all the requirements for their graduate or undergraduate degrees. It is my honor to present them to you. Candidates, please stand as President Armacost confers upon you the appropriate degrees awarded by your college or school. Congratulations. Thank you, Provost Storrs. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education, I confer upon you the degrees granted by your college or school. I have the honor of welcoming you into the ancient and universal society of scholars with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. You may now be seated. If you are an undergraduate student who is wearing a cap and gown, this is the appropriate time to move your tassel to the left side of your mortar board. At the end of this video, you may search your name and hear our announcer officially recognize your degree. Congratulations to all of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to Deanna Carlson Zink, the CEO of the UND Alumni Association and Foundation. It is my pleasure today to welcome you as the newest members of our alumni family. This family you are now a part of cares deeply about this university and about each other. Each new alumnus of this great university stands on the shoulders of those who have come before them. Our alumni not only support through their generosity, but also through inspiration. For example, Tom and Connie Middleton donated $5 million to the School of Entrepreneurship and Management. Tom said the couple has been fortunate in their lives and they greatly value giving. Because of the wonderful experiences they had as students at UND in the 1970s, they wanted to make a difference in the lives of current students. Other members of the UND alumni family quietly make a difference in their communities and in the lives of others. They are pilots, teachers, nurses, and entrepreneurs. They are engineers, journalists, and accountants. It is on the shoulders of these alumni that you now stand. And my wish is that you are able to see a very bright future with your UND degree in hand. As you stand on the doorstep of that future, I want to ask you to stay connected to your alma mater. 
join the alumni Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. These are ways you can bond with this new family you've joined. We are here to encourage you, inspire you, and support you. Again, my sincere congratulations and best wishes. Remember, each of you is now a part of the fabric and personality of the great University of North Dakota. Now we present a special performance by students from the Department of Music. The University of North Dakota alma mater is set to the Emperor's Hymn by Joseph Haydn. The lyrics were written by Professor John Mackney, who graced our campus from 1897 through 1909. The alma mater challenges us, especially as we transition into a new life. It challenges us to maintain our sense of pride for our institution. It challenges us to be thankful, and it challenges us to pass on our knowledge to new generations. Here is the UND alma mater. We're going to close with one more greeting. We had to work very hard to arrange this special guest to appear at your commencement ceremony. I'm thrilled that schedules were adjusted to make this happen. On behalf of our special guest and me, congratulations on becoming graduates of the University of North Dakota. <laughs>